Yo, what's up? My name is Ro Blue, and in this video, I'll be telling you guys what it's like being celibate for three months. So, this video is a little bit weird. I feel like I usually wouldn't make something like this, but I think it's important to talk about the struggles that you might have, especially if you're doing it consistently. Uh, yeah, um, right now I'm about eight and a half months in. I started at the beginning of 2024 I, I don't know why but i forgot so uh, let me just tell you the easiest way to stay celibate is to not be around chicks it's literally that easy <laughs> anyways uh i will tell you the past few years i've been with a lot of different girls I'm not saying that i'm doing it with these girls i'm not saying anything specific i'm just saying i've been around gone out with a bunch of chicks and uh i i am gonna say it's because the person that i am they just want it there's more that goes into that but i'm just gonna i don't know if we can talk about that you know uh it's something kind of like secret but yeah every single time i basically go out with a chick they want to do it they want to grab it uh they they just throw themselves at me I, I don't know what else to say sometimes they get random texts of girls they just hit me up they want it and it can be tempting like especially if you're new to this uh it can be very tempting uh, i might talk about one situation that did happen uh we're just going to talk about the first three months of what it's actually like and then the four five six months next video uh, and then we're gonna do another one like end of September, uh, beginning, of October, uh, the beginning of October, and then one at the beginning of 2025 or end of 2024. I think so. Uh, but yeah, like the first three months can be very hard, especially if you're always jerking it or like doing it. Like it's gonna be difficult because you're gonna want to crave it, it's kind of like a drug like you keep doing it it's like whatever and then you become unfazed and then it's like now you want more because you're not having it and it's the same thing with everything but you just gotta resist there has to be something that you're like doing it for like what are you doing it for for me i just uh i really don't know i really don't know why i'm even doing it i just know i could do it and I have been doing it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, month four, I almost did fail. But not like I don't know. But month four, that was kind of depressing. A lot like the stuff that has happened, and it's still kind of not not impacting me, but it's like in my head. But anyways, um, it's something that I heck wanted, and I thought I wanted. I don't know i just wanted to keep doing it you're gonna want to keep doing it with a bunch of different chicks uh you're really craving it but i think the best way to overcome this is literally just trick it and then think about what you want to do because that post nut clarity that post nut clarity is going to save your life uh in these past few months too i've been told a lot of stories of guys doing it what's happened um, a bunch of girls that I knew became pregnant uh, even like in the past like I know a lot of people that was trying to like force a kid to like be made not like the R word but they were just like doing it with no protection for example and I know a lot of guys that are doing it with the the street lizards and I, I feel like it doesn't really matter as long as it doesn't become like a strong addiction or if that's like your first time, I don't really, I don't really think that's good for you mentally. Um, yeah, I feel like you really shouldn't be cheating on your wife either, Not unless you guys have like an open relationship and it's kind of whatever. Um, but I think it's, it doesn't really matter as long as it's like, it's not really impacting your life in a bad way, because like everyone does it's kind of norm, which I mean it shouldn't be normalized, but we can't really do much. It's just like the hub, we can't really do much about that. It's everywhere, so. It's kind of like whatever but yeah the first three months you you're just gonna really want it 
the first month you might be good then the second month might be a little harder than the third month but then I feel like if you're able to do the first month you're able to do the second and third because the, it takes about 28 days to actually get used to something build a habit 28 days that's a month um, look it up and I mean yeah there's really nothing too much I can really say it's just you really want it oh something that did kind of happen after i don't know if it was around the three month mark or right after that where whenever like i would see a chick and i've seen that she had big breasts or big butt uh i will look at them and just be like hmm I'm like that's interesting they wouldn't even be like oh dang like look at that it's more like hmm like you just look at them and then as the months went by i was kind of like on like like, why are you popping up in front of me? Like, just so I can see that? Yeah, it kind of just seems like a game. Like, you're just popping up just because. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We're going to talk about more in the next video. All right. Well, show God the beauty of its creations. This is Tori Blue. Remember, it's all for you. It's all for you.